was this uh, this guy Lonnie Donegan who was absolutely superb, but it it looked sort of playable what he was doing, and it and it got a lot of it captured the imagination of so many young people, young people barely in their teens at that time, to want to sort of play or pick up a guitar or have a connection with it, to have a connection with the music. However, Lonnie Donegan's music was sort of lead belly and Woody Guthrie, but you know, this sort of thing. And uh, and it, yes, it was, it, 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 that, it, owed its, it, it owed its roots to American music. It took a while, obviously, to, it wasn't like today, uh, you had to really search this stuff out. Now you could just go on the internet and source it, but in those days it was like a pilgrimage and it was, and it was a wonderful journey. <laughs> the way that we all learnt was from records. 45 inch, rec you know, the se seven inch records, 45 RPM or, or albums, and you put on the 45 and you'd slow it down to 33, which was like an LP size, and try and work out these solos note for note. And that's it, everyone learned that way, as far as I can tell. Yeah. 